I don't normally make midweek videos, this is a, a bit of a bonus. It will still be a video on Saturday. But I woke up this morning, and as I'm procrastinating in bed, I said procrastinating, I'm scrolling through TikTok, and I suddenly find an Adobe Photoshop beta update. And I'm looking at it going, that can't be real. It is real. I, I can't believe how real it is. If you're not familiar with me, I, I normally make smart home tutorials and smart home reviews of things that you might buy for she that should not be named. If you're interested in any of that, then hit the subscribe button and you'll get to see more of that. But I also have a vested interest in technology and specifically artificial intelligence. And Adobe Photoshop's beta update is mind-blowing. Check this out. So this is a really quick video just to let you guys know where AI is headed. It, it's mental. Um, I'm going to show you Photoshop in a sec, but I wanted to show you what I've done with Gigapixel. This is an old, old picture that's super low res, and you can see how bad the resolution is. Gigapixel did that to it. Look at the detail. The, how? It just made bits up, which is crazy. Look at the wood. So that's Gigapixel AI, $99. Well worth getting if you're in business and you're looking to get upscaled images of stuff. Because look at that. It's just made bits up. It's completely mental. But it's like, what? The fabric. Anyway, you came here for Photoshop, so let me show you. I took this image. This is a, a picture of the Enterprise Bridge from God knows how old it is, but yeah, really low quality. Um, so I took the Gigapixel export and put it into Photoshop. Not that Photoshop, the other Photoshop. This is Photoshop Beta. If you haven't seen Photoshop Beta, get it. Get it immediately. So first thing is, I, I wanted rid of this chair. That was my, my first thing. So I did this. Like, this is one of the three options. It made up a chair. It invented that chair from the other chairs in the picture. Uh, how on earth did it do that? But if I scroll through, it gives me an option of no chair at all, or this funny whatever the hell this ballast is. I don't, I don't know what the word ballast means. <laughs> I'm assuming it's one of those. But isn't that crazy? It just creates a new layer, and I can turn this layer on and off. Look, it's just sitting over the top of the existing image. Alright. Then I thought, you know what, wouldn't it be cool if this image was wider? And I didn't think this would be possible. And all I had to do to do it was select the edges of the picture like this. And then I went to generate a fill and said fill those edges in. Literally typed the word fill those edges in, and it did this. What? The... How... Look! And I've got three options again. So if I if I click on that layer and go through the options, that's a, a different option, slightly weirder, but it invented panels. <laughs> what is that? It's like a cupboard of jewels. And uh, yeah, and that option, which has got some kind of, I don't know what that is in the corner, monster chair. But yeah, that's that's Photoshop right now. The applications for this are crazy. If I just turn that layer off, look, that's what it's added. And one of them is really, like, usable. That one's usable. I could use that for stuff. Completely bonkers. Here's a, a second picture. This is um, an old thumbnail from one of my videos. It's my missus sat in a chair. And I, I, like, highlighted this bit at the bottom here and said, add legs to the bottom of the picture. Watch. Ha That's not real. They're not her feet. They're not real feet. I don't know why there's a duvet there, but look. And there are three options to choose from. A demented one. <laughs> um, a de really demented one. But one that is actually a usable image. And look at the bottom of here, look. It's added to the bottom of my subwoofer. Like a, a thing that it thought might be there. I just can't believe this exists. Let me just try one thing. This, is, this will be completely mental if this works. But let me just select over here. Uh, no, a little bit smaller, I'll stick it there. And just say, uh, generative fill, add Lieutenant Wharf. I don't know how to spell Lieutenant. Four to six weeks later. Honestly, put it into Google and spelt it writing immediately. There we go, generate, let's see what it does. So you can't see it, but on the other window, there is a, a bar scrolling up. Uh, with a cancel button on it that I can stop, and it's about three quarters of the way through. Tick, 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 tick. If this works, I'm going to be completely blown away. Wait, what? 
What is that? It's not Lieutenant Wharf, but <laughs> it's added something. Ah, oh, what the hell? It obviously doesn't know what Lieutenant Wharf is. But that worked, kind of. Let me try Star Trek. <laughs> Again, I've got the generative bar going up the side on the left that you can't see. Three quarters of the way. This is exciting and bizarre. What the hell is that? It's obviously added what it thinks a character from Star Trek might look like. It's making up characters. That shouldn't be possible. Right, that's very cartoony, right? But I did this one earlier. This is This is like... I told it to... let me see. I told it to first of all remove my head and add blood coming out of my neck and it told me it wouldn't do that because it recognised what I was trying to do and it decided that was against its terms. <laughs> but what the F is that? What the hell? So that's, that's pretty creepy, right? But I asked it to put a person in with their arm around me but I accidentally selected the whole screen when I did it and so it filled the screen with a person with its arm around a person and they're made up people they don't exist they're, they're invented characters look it made people they're weird people I don't know what that is that's an invented place! What the f- What on earth? That's not what I asked for, but what the hell? Right, and then... <laughs> uh, this is really weird. What? That's a person that I didn't- that, that doesn't exist. And it's added a drop shadow and everything. If I take that layer away, look, there's like a shadow on me where she exists. I don't know what the hell the background is up here, that's really weird. But uh, these are some of the other people it created. <laughs> what is any of this? What? It's like some weird reality. What's, what's going on with my ear? It created a new ear for me. That's so mental. But of course I can rasterize these layers, and I can like, remove chunks of them just the way you could with any layer, so I could take that ear away and leave my own ear again. Like, this is just mad. Photoshop just leapt from its current level to, to insane levels of, of aptitude. That is just bonkers. I know that's ugly and weird, but I mean, maybe if I tried it a few more times I'd get a real looking person, but... Either way, it shouldn't be able to invent people and put them into my picture, but that's exactly what it's done. And it would be very easy to just remove this bit of the background here and just make it look like that person's in my room. Completely nuts. Completely, completely nuts. If you haven't got the latest version of Photoshop Beta, get Photoshop Beta from Creative Cloud. That is mental. Just one more, because I can't stop playing with it. This is... I, you know, I know you've heard that before. I can't stop playing with this. This is just out of this world. I just said, add sunglasses to my face. That's literally all I wrote. And uh, I hit generate, and I add such sunglasses to my face. I don't know it's robbed me of my eyebrows. I know that. I know that. But, because I use Photoshop, because I am still expected as a human being at some point to have to do something, I can just get rid of that. If I rasterize the layer, again, and then I just wipe out where my eyebrows are meant to be and add stuff back in again and start to develop a, an actual human looking picture. Just what, how on earth have they done this? Just give me some of my original nose back in that. Anyway, you don't need a Photoshop tutorial, I just wanted to show you, like, just how on earth? How on earth are they? Wow, I just can't. I'm frightened. I'm genuinely frightened by all this because we won't know what's real in 10 years time. We won't have a clue because all of this will happen on the fly. Um, there'll be versions of me that have been created by robots that will talk like me. They'll be funny like me. It, I am funny. And they'll, they'll just be able to look like me because frame by frame they'll be able to create Paul Hibbert. They'll be able to generate an image of me and that be it. And my, my career will be over. You'll be able to watch as many videos of, of me as you like. You'll be able to make them up yourself. Nuts. 
Hope you've enjoyed today's video. As I said at the beginning, there will be a Saturday release, so don't panic. It will be your usual good-humoured smart home technology nonsense. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people running up your screen are my patrons from Patreon, and without them, this week I might have just given up YouTube, and I'll, I'll probably explain that in another video, but thank you so much to those guys, and if you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks, and my Twitters, and my Instagrams, and my TikToks too. Come and hang out there, or we can be best friends. See you next time. On Saturday, in fact. See you then. <laughs>